Hi students, 12th standard computer science, chapter 8, strings and string manipulation. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about how to access the string, uh, then that is how to give the use the text, then string manipulations, how to manipulate the string and some string built-in functions. Now, let us start with string. So what is string? So string is a data type in Python. So string is called as a data type. Then it, it is used to handle array of character. It is used to handle array of character. So here array of characters means a sequence of letters, words. Then string is a sequence of unicode characters. So, so we called as a, it is unicode character. So unicode characters means either we used uh, letters, numbers or special symbols. Letters, numbers, some Special symbols. Then it it enclosed with within uh, single quotes or double quotes or triple quotes. Now let us see the example. Welcome. So we'll give within a single quotes or we use uh, within a double quotes or use within a triple quotes. So once again I repeat. String is a data type and then it is used to handle array of characters and then string is a sequence of unicode characters that is letters, numbers and special symbols enclosed within a single quotes, double quotes or triple quotes. The next one is creating strings. So already we know that a string is a in a python it can be created either single quotes or double quotes or triple quotes. Single a sing, string in single quotes cannot hold any other single quoted characters. So, in a, within a single quotes, we cannot access a, another single quotes. Because the compiler will not recognize, uh, that is, uh, to start and the end of the string. So, to overcome this problem, we have to use double quotes. So, string which contain a double quotes should be defined within a triple quotes. Then, defining string within a triple, triple quotes are also called as multi-line string. So, now let us see the example print greater Chennai corporation. Here we define within a single quotes. So, automatically the compa interpreter will produce the output greater Chennai corporation. Now, let us see the second example print greater Chennai corporations student. So here we use here one uh, single quote, here also one single quotes and here also one single quotes. So compiler cannot understand which one is the start, uh, start starting string and which one is the ending string. So it produced the result as syntax error that is invalid syntax. Now let us see the another one example print computer science. Here they used a double quotes so it printed the result. The next one is within a double quotes, uh, sorry, within a triple quotes, we are using double quotes. So, we produce the answer computer science. So, within a, so, we produce the result computer science. Accessing characters in string. Once you define a string, Python allocate the index value for its each character. So, Python automatically allocate index value for each character. So this index value is also called another name of index value is called as subscript. So the another name of index value is called subscript. So it is used to access and manipulate the string. So subscript is it is used to access and manipulate the string. So it has, uh, it can have uh, two values that is one is positive integer number and another one is negative integer number. So 
So, the positive subscript is assigned for the first character is 0. So, positive first character is 0. And then the last character is assigned for n minus 1. So, the positive integer subscript 0 is assigned for the first character and n minus 1 is assigned for the last character. That here n is called as number of characters. So here n is used for number of characters in the string. Next, the negative index assigned from the last character to first character. So the negative uh, in, integer value is assigned from the last to first. That is in reverse order. So it begins with minus 1. So it begins with minus 1. Now let us see the example. So the string is school. S-C-H-O-O-L. Already we know that the positive value is begin with 0. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the index value. Are, uh, we called as subscript also. And then the negative values begin with minus 1. And it follow us in reverse order. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and minus 6. So the positive value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the negative value minus 1, minus 2 that is in reverse order. So this is the way to access the character in string. Now let us see the example program to access each character with its positive subscript of a given string. Now let us see the example here string 1 input enter a string 1. Then the index value, the subscript value is starting with 0. For i in the string 1, print subscript index, then i. Then index plus equal to 1. So here the meaning, index is equal to index plus 1. Now, let us uh, process the our program. The output is the first line, input, enter a string. So, enter a string. So here we need to type the string value. So here I am going to type welcome. So the first time index value 0. So it comes here. Print subscript of. So within double quotes they give. So subscript. Open bracket. Then index value. Now the current index value is 0. And then within the double quotes they give close bracket and colon. Now i value, so the i value is also same, 0. Sorry, now the i value, i means in string. So each value, that is the first i value is w. So substring of 0 value is w. And then second, index plus equal to 1. That means index is equal to index plus 1. That is 0 plus 1, 1. So again, the subscript of 1. So, what is the first value? 0. After that, E. 1. The next subscript of 2. So, 2 value L. Then subscript of 3. C. M. So at last final value E. So first we use the string and then based on a condition here I first time I value the first string value in string 1. I in string 1 means the first value. Then subscript of the index 0 or 1 next step. Then here this is an increment operator. So when we process the string, it produces the output W E L C O N E. So this is the method to access each character in a positive subscript. Let us see the next example. This is the this is the program to access each character with its negative subscript on a given string. So here we are going to process a negative. 
Now the string 1 input enter a string index value for starting with. So already we know that the positive values begin with the 0 and then the negative values begin with minus 1 in reverse order. So here they declare the index value minus 1. Then while index less greater than or equal to minus length of string 1. So here the index value is minus 1 and length of string 1 values of minus 5. So but here they use as minus symbol. So minus 1 greater than or equal to minus 5. So here the condition true, if the condition is true means it comes with the next process. Here subscript index value then string 1 of index. Now the next step is index plus equal to minus 1. So index is equal to index minus 1 plus minus 1. Then now enter the string hello. Already we know that it displayed in a reverse order. So the first minus 1 value is O and then minus subscript of minus 2 L, subscript of minus 3 L. And then subscript of minus 4 E and subscript of uh, minus 5 H. So, this is the way of using a positive and negative numbers. So, once again I repeat, string means it is a data type in Python. And then it, use, it is used to handle array of characters. Array of characters means uh, we are using uh, more characters. Uh, within a single quotes, double quotes are triple quotes. So if we use a triple quotes means that is called creation of multi-line string. Then to access the string we use uh, two values. One is positive integer number and one is negative integer number. So positive integer number begins with a 0 and the last character is n minus 1. Here n means it is a string uh, length uh, number of characters and the negative value is begin with minus 1 in reverse order. Thank you students.